Issues of building collapse will be a thing of the past if members of the public stop dealing with quirks and engage the services of professional engineers. This were the views expressed by experts while speaking uh, with a journalist at the 7th International Construction and Building Materials and uh, Technology Expo held in Lagos. They attributed challenges in the construction industry to the use of uh, less experienced workers, inferior quality materials, and unprofessional attitude of some engineers on site. Everywhere you go in Nigeria, there is there are some tend to call it impunity, other call it corruption. People want to cut corners. So it's not about the, well, the artisan or the professional, they have a the blame. But the most blame comes from the developer or the owner of the structure. Because if you are advised that this project will cost you so much, and then somebody comes to you and says, ah, no, you can do it for cheaper. And then, without consulting with the people who originally gave you the original figure to find out whether truly you can do that same building for lower figure for a cheaper price using the same materials, and then you go ahead and listen to somebody who probably is not as trained as the people who had originally advised you, then you are the cause of the problem. The problem is that the society, the public is um, is dealing with um, quacks instead of with engineers. And when there's a problem, they now call on it, they call engineers. Uh, our institution, we have chapters in virtually every state of the country. So when you, we, if you are into construction, if you are, you are not sure of who to contact, please come to our office. Uh, because the problem is that you're using quacks. That's the real uh, underlying problem. They also stressed the need for the federal government to put in place a, a building collapse prevention committee to educate the masses as part of measures to halt in the ugly trend. We've just set up a, a building collapse prevention committee and the idea is to actually reach out to the public, educate them to stop using quacks. I can assure you that immediately we stop using quacks, buildings will stop collapsing. It's as simple as that. And we have also been making public statements on this. And um, we are actually uh, calling on government to collaborate with us professionals in regulating this stuff. Uh, because um, if the regulatory authorities are also doing their work well, they can prevent this from happening. Because um, I know they have professionals, but what they have is inadequate to reach out everywhere ability to relate some certain things in the past with the current and come up with a better option. I mean, somebody probably the best project he has done or building he has done is two floors. Now goes ahead to take on a, a 10 story structure. Where is the strength going to come from? There are some certain issues that will come up when you are doing a 10 story structure that will never happen on a two story structure. For instance, you are talking about lifts. The lift work and all of that. Which in the two stories of you just climb your steps and you're up there. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.